we can consign to the real real from Canada. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Jasmine. For those who are new, I am a casual reseller on the US and Canadian Poshmark app as well as eBay. You can find me at Afternoon Tea on the Canadian app as well as Tea Time on the US app. For today's video, I want to share my first experience consigning on the site, The Real Real. If you've never heard of The Real Real, they're basically an online thrift store slash consignment store located in the States. If you like reselling content like this, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. So to start off, I wasn't really sure if um, as a Canadian, we would be able to consign on The Real Real. So I did a little bit of research as just browsing the website. And basically you just need a US address and a US bank account. So since I already have these things from selling on Poshmark US, it's probably possible consigning on the real reel as well. So in order to consign on the real reel, the steps that you have to do is um, once you are on the website, you do have to create an account. Once you create an account, there is an option to either shop on their website or to consign with them. So basically you just have to click the option, I think it says sell with us or something like that, and you create an account. You just have to make note that there are only certain brands that they will accept. So they do provide a list of certain brands that they accept on their website. Once you accumulate the items that you want to consign with them, you basically just have to create a manifest or a list of the items that you want to send in. And this manifest is what you include in the box that you want to send to them. The Real Real actually provides you with a prepaid shipping label um, that you can use to ship your items. So I did have a couple of items that I wasn't really getting a lot of attention on my Poshmark account, so I decided to try out consigning with the real real. I sent in six items. Um, I sent in this Maley Mellow um, convertible backpack, which was brand new with tags, and I'm pretty sure it retails for over a thousand dollars. But it just wasn't getting the attention that I wanted it to get. I sent in one Acris Punto wool jacket. I sent in an Acris Punto skirt. And I think this was also wool as well. I sent in a pair of Burberry Brit jeans and I sent in two Diane Furstenberg skirts. So in my opinion, all of these items were in excellent condition or at least like very good condition. I didn't really see any flaws towards them. So I decided to take a chance and to send them in. So after I formulated my list of the items that I want to send in, um, I clicked submit or um, said that I was ready to consign and the real real sent me a shipping label. One thing that I did like about the real real was that somebody contacted me right away via email and um, by phone as well, um, just to make sure that if I had any questions with consignment, um, with the whole process, that I would be able to contact them with any questions that I had. The bad thing though is that um, after I initially responded, I did have a question about um, the process of what happens after my items are sent in, and I didn't really receive a response afterwards. So. It seems to me that they kind of are very eager to make that initial um, interaction and they didn't really follow up after that. But anyways, so after I put all my items in the box and I printed out the label that the real real sent to my email, um, I basically just used the third party shipping company that I always do for my Poshmark US packages and it was shipped away. So I believe I shipped out my package on either a Thursday or a Friday and it actually arrived at the real real facility on Monday. So once it did arrive, I did receive an email saying that it had arrived and the next steps after they received your items, they have to go through all the items, make sure that they're authentic and they meet their qualifications and their standards of listing on their website. After they go through the items and they um, either accept or deny the items, if they deny any items, they do ship them back to you free of charge. Um, and if they accept them, then they move along to um, photographing and listing your items. Another thing that I noticed was that once the package arrived to the warehouse, I didn't really get any other email saying that that they had accepted certain items or that they were on to the next step of listing them or pricing them. I had to keep checking the website to kind of update myself on the status of my items. So out of the six items that I sent in, they actually ended up accepting all six of them. 
Um, and it took about a week before I saw any other updates on the status. Um, it just said that they had accepted all the items and I was just waiting for um, any future updates. It's not like I was checking every day, so I'm not sure if it actually happened earlier than that, but I would say the process took about a week. So now that my items are accepted, they continue to um, price them accordingly based on what they are selling the items for on their website and um, they continue to photograph them. So at this current moment, um, I believe four out of the six items are listed, but two of them still have to be priced and um, photographed. As for the rates that I will receive once the items do sell, when I first created an account, it said that my commission rate was 55%, but when I actually see the items that are currently listed, it says that I'm only going to get 40%. I believe that the more you can sign with them, the higher the commission rate you will receive. I think you have to meet a certain dollar amount before you can move to the next level, but I guess we'll see once I maybe get there or maybe if I don't. As for the prices that they are listing my items, right now I only see a couple of the items. I have a Max Mar blazer, um, which I forgot to mention before, but currently this is listed for $115 US. I did have this listed on my Poshmark closet, but I guess this brand doesn't really do that well on Poshmark, so I decided to send it in. Um, a couple other things that are currently priced are my Diane uh, Furstenberg skirts and the Acris Punto skirt, and those are all listed for $50 US. So it's kind of nice that they're listed in US, just so that um, when I do convert it into Canadian, I gain a little bit more back than um, what the typical 40% will be. And again, I just used my TransferWise account that I already have set up for my Poshmark US, and I just inputted my TransferWise information into my real, real banking information so that when an item does sell, it will just pay me directly to my TransferWise account. I guess that's really all that I have to say regarding my first experience with the real real. I'll probably do a part two when something sells or hopefully everything sells just to do an update of kind of my profit margins if it was kind of worth it. So far, just because my cost of goods is pretty low because I had thrifted all of these items, I'm hoping that I will be able to make a decent amount on these items, especially because I tried to sell them myself and they weren't really getting a lot of attention. So for just being able to ship these items and getting paid for it, I mean, it's kind of an easy way to get at least my money back on, on the items that I had invested in or to make some sort of profit. If you have any questions regarding selling on the real real feel free to leave your comments below i might not be able to answer them because it is just my first time but um if you are canadian just know that it is um, an option for you if you do tend to pick up more expensive brands or more desirable brands that the real real does accept and again thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>